What's up, Covalence friends? Today, we're going to be starting part one of our multi-part series on programmatically sending emails from your application. Now, most people, they go, they build their website for the first time, and they realize very quickly that they have to be able to send an email for something, whether or not it's just following up for more information or based on some sort of action performed by the user, right? And so those are called transactional emails, right? Transactional emails are different from marketing emails because marketing emails, there's a lot of solutions out there for that already. And these are more based off of your own application, right? And so we need to be able to actually have an email server. And there are several services that provide this functionality. We're going to get right into them right now. Okay, so the first one that we're going to go through is actually one called SendGrid. So I'm just going to type in SendGrid. And you'll see it's the very first thing that pops up. And it's actually owned by Twilio. So if you don't know what Twilio is, Twilio is a really cool company that handles... Um, SMS and MMS, so it allows you to kind of programmatically send and receive text messages. Uh, they also have a really awesome product stack in general. So uh, they might be owned by even a bigger company. I don't know, I know they integrate with WhatsApp and everything, so it wouldn't surprise me if they had some sort of affiliation with Meta, uh, but I don't know that for a fact, and I'm not, you know, so don't quote me on that. But regardless, I really like Twilio's product stack. Um, they have this kind of like one solution fits all messaging platform where you can kind of send uh, emails, WhatsApp messages, Facebook instant messages, and um, text messages all to like one centralized place and then it all kind of aggregates into one conversation. It's super cool. Uh, but we can do another pro video on that someday. Uh, for now, we're just looking at the actual email solution and they don't have an aggregate email plus text solution, at least as far as I know. And so, um, if I'm wrong, please drop it in the comments, but it would be a super cool addition, you know, hashtag SendGrid there. So, uh, but their email plans are pretty awesome. The free solution is honestly probably all you'd ever need for a tiny application. It allows up to 100 emails for free per day forever. So that's kind of awesome. There's only one teammate permission allowed, but that's okay. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, your app probably only needs a single permission and you probably only need one centralized login, that kind of thing. Uh, but it doesn't have email validation. So if you need something like email validation, that isn't included in the free package, but realistically, like small apps aren't gonna need anything like email validation. So that isn't super important. Um, and there's also no single sign-on, but again, single sign-on probably isn't something you need unless you have you know, an enterprise uh, you know, level application, right? So um, again, SendGrid, super awesome solution. Uh, also their essentials and pro packages, again, very affordably priced. If you do need, you know, some of those things like web hooks or email validations, both pretty cool things, but again, not super important right now, but they also have a dynamic template editor, which is really nice, which is something that some of the other, uh, platforms don't currently have or some of the other offerings. Right. And so again, SendGrid, awesome first solution might be the best solution. And probably you might not even need to continue watching this video. Um, but just in case you don't like SendGrid, there is an application called Mailgun, which you see right here. And Mailgun is actually owned by a company. They were just actually bought out um, by a company called, I believe it's Cinch. Um, yeah, it's hard to read, but again, it is bought out by a company. I don't know what kind of company it is, probably some sort of marketing company. Um, and they also have a really nice programmatic API and their pricing is also pretty good. It's free, $0 per month for 5,000 emails and anything above 5,000 you pay per email and it's a dollar for every 1,000 emails. So again, it's, you know, one one thousandth of a dollar. So that's like, what is that? A tenth of a penny per email. Um, so again, super affordable. You're going to be sending a lot of emails before you're paying anything. And so again, highly recommend looking at Mailgun. And also they have a very good API. I would say Mailgun probably has the best API out of all of them. Um, and so again, super nice. And the other thing is, is that their foundation, uh, if you are going to want something like a dedicated IP, I believe that they are the most affordable dedicated IP. So they don't give you one until I believe you're at 100,000. So it's at $75 a month, you get a dedicated IP but I haven't seen anywhere else that gives you a dedicated IP for cheaper than $75 a month. So this is a super good solution if you're looking for that dedicated IP. And, the, and if you don't know what you, why you would need a dedicated IP, the important part or the real important piece of that is that with these you know, 
so with these email solutions, you're actually sharing IP addresses with everyone else using this email service. So there could be, I don't know how many, you know, customers Mailgun has, but I'm assuming it's in the tens of thousands. And, you know, most likely some of those could be spammers or scammers, right? Uh, you just don't know who you're sharing an IP address with. And so if people are marking those emails as spam, then it could be marking your IP address as spam as well. So you could be sending these people messages and yet they've already marked your IP as spam. And so your message actually ends up going to spam immediately. Um, so having a dedicated IP is super nice because then you know for a fact that it was your emails that, could, that are being marked as spam, right? Or coming from you. So you have essentially a fresh IP address that you can then use to ensure that people are receiving your emails. And if they aren't, if, then it's because they marked your emails as spam, right? And so uh, again, dedicated IP, super awesome, super needed if you have a big enough application where it's needed, right? Uh, the last solution we're gonna look at is something called Mandrel. And Mandrel was actually bought by MailChimp. And so if you try and log into Mandrel, it actually makes you log in through MailChimp now, which is a little annoying. Um, but what you can do is we can go to MailChimp instead, and we can look into what their actual uh, solutions and services. They're pretty good at marketing, that's for sure. Um, they have a lot of cool resources when it comes to integrated solutions with their marketing services. So if you're looking for something more along the lines of a CMS in addition to your email, uh, I would say MailChimp might be one of the better solutions because they have essentially, you know, more than just the transactional email. So if we were to look at this transactional email, you can see in here that you can basically kind of pay per block of emails. Um, but you also kind of get it with this marketing platform as well. So I believe you can kind of create this free service here, um, but usually what people end up buying is this essentials package um, and then using the transactional emails. So again, this is probably the most expensive solution, uh, but you know it allows you to send quite a bit of emails and they kind of give you a lot with including with that marketing platform, which includes kind of like that CMS solution as well. So. I do also like their templates in here. They give you a lot of templates. Um, and remember, you are kind of constructing these emails yourself. So you're constructing the HTML and the text. And with MailChimp, they give you a pretty big block of, of templates that you are then allowed to essentially plug in. And then you can send that template using a key from your backend. So that's super nice, but I do think this is the most expensive. So if you're looking for the cheapest solution, I would go with either Mailgun or SendGrid, which is essentially free depending on how many emails you're sending. And yeah, so in our upcoming parts, we're going to be moving into how to actually implement these on your back end. All right, so I hope that was somewhat insightful. Again, this is just really an introductory part one video on these emails and the availability or the options that are out there. Now there's obviously more out there. So these aren't the only ones, but I feel like these are probably the easiest and quickest ones to get up and running with. And so if you have a favorite one that I didn't mention, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm gonna be doing a multi-part series where I'm gonna be implementing these from a backend standpoint. And so if there is one that you wanna see, feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll make sure that I add that as an additional part. And yeah, if you haven't checked out our you know, courses yet, feel free to drop in on us. We have a new membership package that is the cheapest offering we've ever offered. It has access to every course we've ever created. And it's essentially our exact curriculum that we take beginners from zero to hero with and get them employed at some of the best companies out there. And so feel free to check that out on our website. It's actually in the comment description below. Check out our merch store. We have lots of merch and yeah, see you soon.